Hi, this is James Kruger. Today we'll watch some of the birds living here in Monterey Bay. Along the Monterey coast, snowy white egrets can be seen foraging around patches of kelp. As they eat, they repeatedly jab at the tiny insects swarming over a mound of kelp. Here we see snowy white egrets with slender black beaks, black legs, and bright yellow feet that look like yellow slippers. They have wispy head feathers and are about two-thirds the size of the great egret. A great egret is spotted along the bike path with people taking a morning walk. It stands on a floating kelp catching fish. It is a large bird up to 40 inches in height and weighs around three pounds. It has a slow flight with its neck retracted. The way to distinguish the great egret from the snowy white egret is its long curved neck, yellow bill, and black legs. One great place to see the great egret is right here in our backyard, right off of Ocean Avenue. You'll see them swoop down and land right alongside the road, and then later pick up and fly away. Another majestic bird that we see here in the Monterey Bay is the dark brown pelican. You would think with their big large bodies, how do they catch food? Well, one of their main sources of food is fish. That's right. So they fly along and from 20 to 60 feet away, they can spot a fish and all of a sudden do a big nosedive right into the water with their wings held back they will land in that water kind of awkwardly. You would think kind of with a hard slam, but they have this like cushion underneath their skin that helps them land gently and swoop down in the water to catch that fish and come up with their prey. They're amazing birds, and when you have a chance to see them, you should come out to the coast and just watch in their glory. Oh, look, a pelican on the rock. It's a brown pelican you can see that their heads are white and their body is kind of a light brown in color. Below their beak, they have this little sack where at times they use to catch their fish. Well, this particular pelican is actually just perched up on the rock overlooking the ocean. Black oyster catchers are black shorebirds with a long bright red beak, large pink feet, and yellow eyes. They're here at tide pools, bathing and preening, probing the shore with their long beaks. Historically, the population of the black oyster catcher has been much higher, but due to human disturbances, such as oil spills and trash along our shoreline, its population has been reduced. Here, comrades lounge with other seabirds on a steep, remote cliff where they're safe from predators. Comrades will use only one nest for several years, piling up seaweed and grass and ocean debris until the mound can get up to five to six feet high. Safe nesting sites are becoming scarcer for comrades and other seabirds. One other well-known bird that we all know is the seagull. Out here on the west coast, we may think they're plentiful, but actually they're a very small population. They have the white plumage and kind of a black vest that walk around and follow fishermen. Uh, their prey mostly are just small little fish, so they don't compete against the same fish fishermen are catching. However, you'd be surprised in what they eat and how they eat. Some of their food actually comes from scraps that fishermen throw overboard. So seagulls actually are very smart birds uh, always looking for food whenever they can get it. One nice thing about seagulls is we can see them very easily. They're on the piers, they're on the fishing boats, they're on the rocks, they're everywhere. We can get even up close and personal to them. But please, please do not feed them human food because that type of food is very dangerous to their health. They can get sick and a lot of times can die. 
So please allow them to enjoy their natural habitat and the food that they find right here on the Central Coast in the Monterey Bay. These are just a few of the many birds of Monterey. Next time you visit Monterey, be sure you check out these wonderful birds. I'm James Kruger, and we'll see you next time enjoying more life here in the Monterey Bay. <laughs> There's another one. They're waiting for me to give them tasty treats. I'm just watching them.